Hello and welcome to a new project I want to do now. Um, I want to start now. <coughs> so I'm uh, in different rooms, in different uh, planet suit rooms, and um, I want to give people some tips and tricks for um, some issues and uh, also. Um, to show people how you start with this game if you play the first time. I always recommend that you play the carrier at least first two ones. So you should play the Goodwin House and also the uh, Madagascar Simian Conservation Project. You can play it on three different um, difficulty modes. I recommend easy if you play it for the first time so you can just uh, relax and, and get to know the, the game a bit, a bit better. Um, yeah. Time scenarios I uh, don't recommend. As you see <laughs> not even uh, even I didn't play them because uh, follow me. I'm just not uh, good at time management but um, maybe later if you are a bit more into the game you can easily do them uh, yeah so this is your start screen your main screen you can see a world with different characters uh, those characters are your friends um here you have a list of your friends um here's always the, the community goal you need a uh, internet connection for that um here you have the the, the newest news from planet zoo new packs new updates uh, and all that um here you can edit your avatar so uh, you always have the, the opportunity to uh, edit your avatar later you have different heads and different hair and also with every DLC there comes a new new outfit in this case uh, the twilight one was my uh, last one I bite we have a nice shirt some I don't know yellow doesn't seem to fit that good for that outfit but it's okay and of course you always get a new hat in this case it's a it's the bad hat last time it was the axolotl hat from the what was it was it the conservation pack I think it was the conservation pack the last one I'm not sure uh, this is one uh, this one is was this one the conservation pack? I'm re <laughs> really not sure anymore. Uh, this was from the European and this was uh, from the um, wetlands. Then we have the hat from the North American pack. So uh, yeah, you will always get some nice hats. And I think at least I will keep the shirt on right one because I kind of like the shirt it's kind of spooky and I'm absolutely into spooky stuff um, yes I accept that uh, there you can reposition your your av avatar HQ that important I don't know currently I'm in uh, Finland because I love Finland okay almost no it should be, should, should be. I, I'm not sure right now but it should be <laughs> um, so there you have you have uh, my Zeus 
this is the place where all your zoos are saved. Your uh, zoos you opened in a sandbox, zoos you opened in franchise mode or uh, in, in challenge mode or everything else. You know, everything is just uh, listed here. And also, if you have a zoo in franchise, you can open it as a challenge or a sandbox. So you can always change from um, from franchise into another game mode, but you can't change it back. So if you change it and open it as sandbox and uh, build something in sandbox, it won't be available in franchise. You, you just can't go back from sandbox. Uh, yeah. There you have filter. Those are carrier um, zoos. Those are challenge zoos. If I had some sandbox zoos and of course uh, franchise zoos. You can hide auto saves. That's uh, a nice feature because uh, auto saves sometimes can be pretty annoying. Uh, yeah, you can sort them by newest, oldest, and also by alphabet. Um, you can open your Steam Workshop here and can download stuff from other people or... Oh, oh wait, 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 where is it? Where is it? I, I, I don't know. Oh, it, is, it doesn't even show uh, the... Steam overlay, yeah. Uh, so if you click this, you get to the uh, Steam Workshop directly. There are your do downloaded uh, zoos. Well, as you can see, I only have one because most time I just uh, like to build everything myself. <laughs> but uh, you don't have to. Uh, it's it's also. Pretty, I think, pretty difficult to uh, put down workshop stuff and uh, combine them into a nice zoo and stuff. So, uh, yeah. If you click here, you can open a sandbox zoo. A sandbox zoo is completely free from everything. You can um, just select the normal biomes or you open a scenario zoo. Like, Let's just try the castle fires. You can here also uh, change difficulty. Let yeah, clear the zoo of all scenarios, uh, scenario items. So the, that means if you activate this, only the Tara will be there without buildings and anything else. Let's just do it. You can also cha change the name. My castle line is sent. Box. And then we create it. <coughs> Might take a while. Depending on your uh, PC. And there we are. As you see, it's a clear map with the entrance up on this hill. It's actually a pretty nice map. Maybe maybe I'll use it someday. I'm not sure right now. But uh, yeah. So in sandbox mode you can do whatever you want. You have unlimited CC. You have unlimited money. You can build everything from beginning without to um, Actually, to to research things, but uh, the workshop, the trade center. So, if you put down the trade center, you can actually uh, activate the trade, uh, the the animal trading. And as you see, you have some species here you can buy. Actually. 
uh, sometimes it's pretty rare that it happens sometimes you have luck and you have a chance to get albinos here or loisistic ones or piebald or melanistic or whatever As you can see, you can um, type the name of the animal in here and get easier to it, but you also can uh, just scroll through. Okay, I'm just gonna try something. You see, we only have uh, one bronze male red fox, and if I refresh it, there will be different ones. I don't know, but I think. There will be always four animals of every species, two females and two males. And with luck you even get a golden one or silver one. I'm not sure if you can get the piebald ones. Sometimes you get an albino with this tactic, so uh, just try it a few times and if you are bored of it, try it uh, later again, or just play franchise. With that. I can't uh, get rid of that. Good, uh, okay. So, this is your animal market. Um, this is your animal storage. Here are every, or uh, here is every animal you buy it and uh, did not put in a habitat. Um, this is your trade history. It tells you what you uh, buy it last and uh, for how many money or CCs. Um, and this is uh, your art section. Um, this is something we will talk about later. So same with the exhibit trading. You can uh, just buy uh, all of them fresh and get different ones. So if you want some good ones. Also, animal storage here. Exhibit and uh, normal animals are always in different places. Um, so, the special thing about a sandbox is also the settings. You can go into the sandbox settings um, and can dis and enable many things like inspections can be activated or uh, deactivated and uh, you can also uh, disable escapes which means if you put down a null barrier which I'm gonna show you We need uh, stuff for that. Caretaker. And then we put down one of these boxes we got. This will be way too small for the fox. Uh, it's just uh, I can show you the purpose of the, uh, the, the option. So, um, if, if escapes are disabled, the animal will just be 
in its habitat even if it co go uh, could go outside so it's it's a nice way to just try things and create uh, some nice looking habitats without worrying that they will uh, escape um also we have the option to Yeah, uh, enable animal predat pred <laughs> predation here. If this is disabled, um, a lion won't chase a zebra if they are in the same habitat. They they will just not care for each other. So uh, yeah. Um, stuff settings you can enable uh, the. You can en enable the research, so you still have to research for everything uh, you get in the game. Um, you can also have fully trained stuff, which means they are on. Uh, they have already five stars, training le uh, training level master, as you can see. And uh, yeah. So I think that was most important of the sandbox part yeah well the sandbox is just really 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 free building and creating and uh, yeah okay let's go to the next thing So the next one would be the challenge. Um, also, you can uh, open the scenario source here. I'll just use the tiger and then. Oh, as oh, they they made it visible here. So as you can see, Asia and Europe has the same uh, skirt, but North America looks different. That's uh, that's a new feature that came with the last update. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just uh, hop in and show you what's the difference uh, between franchise and challenge. So as you can see, we have CCs and money again, and the challenge zoo is literally literally just the franchise zoo but without the um, trading with other players so if I put down the trade center here and go into animal trading they have different than in the sandbox zoo I don't have uh, four animal uh, for for animals of every species with two males two females I have just uh, it's pretty mixed sometimes you have luck and get a nice one and sometimes you don't have luck and must wait four hours for the animal uh, for the animal you want to use in your zoo Platypus, we only have one right here. Also, the, the Pratsiwalski horse. Um, yeah, and there are, there are so some animals are missing, so uh, you have to refresh and sometimes look again for the animal you want. Uh, and yeah, that's the only difference between the. Um, franchise and the challenge but you also don't need a stable internet connection for the um, challenge zoo okay let's go to the last one oh yeah uh, carrier and timed are literally almost the same window so if you go to timed 
you can just switch to carrier mode uh, mode uh, here. So it's uh, yeah. Assume is uh, the last zoo you opened will be resumed when you click this. And the most, I think it's the most, uh, at least for me, it's the most uh, fun mode in this game. It's the franchise mode. Every day you get a reward. You get uh, 100 CC for free. Only for logging in into the uh, franchise uh, thing, thingy, thing, thing. Damn it, I forgot the word. Uh, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, so, this is the most important uh, area if you play in franchise because uh, here you can see all your CCs you have and um, the CCs are up here because they are available in every single zoo you see here. So if you have those 15,000 and go into the first zoo and then you buy something for like 10,000 CC you will just have uh, 5,000 CC in other zoos or in all the other zoos. Uh, so this is the, the CCs for every single zoo in your franchise. Um, here you can edit it, you can give it a name, uh, you can change the badge, you can also change the banner. We have some nice ones here. Um, you can see how much uh, CCs you earned and how much you spent in your carrier of a nice uh, zoo franchise uh, owner. Here you can see all your zoos. Um, then here you can see all your animal things and number of guests and blah blah. Um, you can also close your franchise which means uh, everything here will be deleted. Um, you can also uh, changed your visiting status um, sometimes uh, people come into your zoo uh, other player uh, characters it's not the real player which is in there in real time it's just their uh, character spawning uh, randomly so you can also put it off so you won't appear in other zoos and you can also make it anonymous um, yeah You also have the achievements from the community challenges I showed you. Um, um, then you have an over oversight about uh, the best animals you bred. This is the, the new one, the red deer. I didn't uh, have it my, in my zoos. So, uh, Okay, this is the breeding trophies, this is the release to wild trophies. There have uh, we have the animal adoption trophies and the trade trophies. Well, the African penguins just escalated hardly in my zoo, so uh, yeah, they breed like uh, You can can get uh, an outfit from that, so maybe I should do it uh, after that video. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to my newest zoo to show you. 
some other things in the franchise. Take a while. The zoo is already a bit bigger. Uh, also, you get some uh, interesting tips if you're a beginner. So, uh, you might have a look in, in those. So sorry, my my English is uh, sometimes a bit uh, chaotic. And when I speak privately, I be like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's better than I uh, when I record videos. I I I don't know. My brain is strange. I even started dreaming in English. So uh <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, the castle is already finished in sandbox mode and it's already up in uh, workshop, but here it isn't because I was afraid uh, I won't, uh, I couldn't complete the, the castle in, in time, so I started to put it in sandbox and tried to get at least cave, the bad cave down here. Uh, yeah, so in my zoo here, uh, the stables are inside a uh, horse habitat because uh, castle and stables just fit. Uh, also, this is a uh, habitat under the castle, but never mind. Um, we have something different to do here, so different colored animals like the melanistic ones and the loincistic ones and uh, the, all the other stuff um, if you go into uh, into the trading center um, and you search for the red fox you see already you can get different colored Foxes because they are from different players. Good expensive ones. Uh, by the way, I recommend not to buy those because seriously, it's too much and people just get really greedy. Those are acceptable prices like, like uh, 3000 or, or 2000 or something. And sometimes, if you have luck, even get nice golden ones from pretty social players who aren't that greedy. It's all from the same, yes. Here you can see from which uh, zoo it is, so you can prevent. Um, I think I want to take it. Uh, you can prevent um, uh, inbreeding. If it's from different zoos, um, you can be sure that, uh, or almost can be sure that it is, uh, it's safe from inbreeding. Uh, okay, here you have, uh, yeah, I mean it's it's just silver, but it's still pretty good. It's only nine years, uh, zero nine years old, not even one year. Um, it has a good rating and uh, it's pretty cheap, I think. So, like I said, some players aren't just that greedy. I mean, look at this, it's, it's a golden one and uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, the difference here is um, you can buy from other players and you can sell to other players. Okay, I wanna just I just want to put the other fox uh, down. Um, nom 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 nom. Yeah, I know. I will do that later. Uh, na, 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 na. Could you please 
stop. I said stop. Okay, my stored animals. Uh, red fox. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Oh, I hate it. bit more silent because it's pretty loud here right now. I already had a few. <laughs> Hello, Mini Foxy, where are you? There the little cutie is. appreciate that Frontier did that. I really, really do. Okay, so... I think... I explained the basics pretty good. Oh, one more thing. Um, I always see some pretty bad screenshots uh, shots, or even people who just take their smartphones and make a photo of their uh, display but don't do it if you play good steam it's really really easy you go into the area you want to take a photo uh, Let's go into my, my dome. I think there will be a nice shot. So... Why? They should be able to go there. What is happening? What? what, what? I really don't get that sometimes. Sometimes the game is like, um, okay. By the way, if you play the carrier mode first, you uh, will start to know what I actually do here. Like opening this uh, area stuff shit and, and how to and why it's actually not that bad he can go through but this little tortoise can't are you kidding me okay wait a moment i have to fix it because uh, otherwise i will be annoyed by it i just make it uh, it won't look good but it will do its thing. I'll change that later. Uh, so, if you want to take a picture of a nice area you found, or something you built, or something, press G. This will let the, the GUI disappear so it looks more clear because nothing is in the way. You can just take a picture, a nice picture of the scenery or the building or whatever, and then press F12. You can hear a sound, and here in the corner for you there will be uh, an information that the, the screenshot is saved. So, if you tap out of the game, oh wait. Here. Uh, and then you are here at your screenshots. You right click here, you go, you can just share them on, on uh, Steam, or you go to manage screenshots. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. 
take a while. And then you go show on disk. And then it will open the folder where those screenshots are saved on your PC. This is the easiest way to get there. And it's the easiest way to make a screenshot with good quality so people can actually see pretty good what it is about and uh, yeah, I hope that helps a bit. And uh, next time I will explain some difficulties uh, Planet Zoo sometimes have. Uh, by the way, if you press G again, uh, the GUI will be there again. If it's not G, then you should go to your settings and to your controls. Was it the controls or the control? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it was a controls. Ah, yeah. In the controls, you can see uh, several shortcuts. It is right. Yeah. Show height user interface. Um, it might be possible that it is a different. Um, it's it's something different, but normally it is the G. So if it, if your your G doesn't work or uh, F12 to take a screenshot, just look into your uh, key bindings. It's controls in your menu, in your settings menu where you can also change uh, game settings and interface and graphics and all that controls, and then you uh, can take a look. What is uh, wha what's your key binding for that? Um, yeah. So next time, I'll explain some issues. Maybe I also explain some uh, tips and tricks for the path. Because, damn boy, that's tricky. Um, yeah. May maybe. Maybe. Maybe you want to watch the next video again. And I hope you at least learned a bit from today's video. See you next time. Have a nice day and stay hydrated.